or a function we always use four kind of things one is application second is workbook third is worksheet or sheet fourth is range we always start our code we start working with these objects only so we will do application after a few classes so let's start with workbook first so first thing i want to do uh, like i want to open uh, i want to add m1 workbook such as we use control n or go to uh, in office button or select this new blank workbook so for this we how to code with that so we start with workbook dot add this this after dot what we want to do we just uh, give the reference here so i want to add workbook so when i run this macro we can see there is no workbook only one is there when this we run this macro workbook workbooks dot add so we can see here is our new workbook okay now second task is to save the workbook so i just save this workbook for creating comment i just put quotation mark so this code will not be executed i will use workbook dot save save but which one workbook is to be saved i need to tell excel so in brackets i will type this is book 1 book 1 dot xls inverted commas close then dot save as when we are saving new workbook it is save as and then we give the path here so we will giving the path here e drive e 1 dot excel and the extension we can get sm okay so when i run this macro subscript out of range Uh, let us add new workbook choose another name and then run this with a subscript out of me range it is not finding the correct workbook book 4.xls okay 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 i don't need this xls here i want to save this to workbook then the extension cannot be used with selected file type this extension cannot be used excel 
as the save okay so it is saved by one and it is saved where in e drive there is one dot xls okay now we are opening and work uh, adding and workbook we are saving here but we need to understand that every time when i add a workbook it will have some different name okay so getting uh, this name here itself is a problem so we will use one method here like when we add workbook the active workbook will be the added one see when we uh, add any workbook the active workbook will be the new one book file so we can uh, take this active Active workbook. There is a keyword dot name, and I just pass this method into this one. Okay. So every time when the workbook will be added, will be saved to this location, and. for name i need to concatenate this name here okay so when i play this run this macro we can see in e drive there is book 6 file saved okay now when the file is opening i need to close also then what i will do workbook dot uh, in brackets i will give the name dot close see when we close a workbook then what it demands it ask for true uh, do you want to save this workbook or not if you have done such uh, some changes here such as in this workbook you have done some modification in sheets and in first sheet in range A one. I'm typing any value. Now, when I close this, it will ask for. Uh, I just close this one, and when I run this macro, what happens? It asks for. Do you want to save changes? that you made in book 7 or not okay so i have made some changes here now i want to save uh, with that so i can give here true if you want to save changes you can provide true here if you don't want you can provide false here so when i uh, run this macro it add workbook it saved to this location at uh, uh, in first sheet in a1 type this thing and close the workbook so i'll just play this basically that the true means it is a saving right yes 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 for true we are doing it is just the code method kindly memorize that code mm -hmm. okay so we can see here is book 8 and we can see in book 8 there is written something okay 
so we have known that we uh, how to add a workbook how to uh, save a workbook with some name okay we can access uh, the active workbook with this active workbook keyword and there is a member called name so which through which we can get the name of active workbook and we can uh, close the workbook with saving option with true hmm. you are saying uh, as you can see here i am using different different types of method here somewhere i am using this equal to somewhere i am using just space okay some as uh, uh, in some options i will work like input box i work with this thing brackets here i provide values so how to identify where what to use where to use so there are basically there are objects it is like uh, first we have objects then in brackets we always provide details okay when we apply dot so that is a member members means what to do okay then mem members have some details okay it's like that hmm we'll see what happens i can identify uh, what is to be done when i type this workbooks then when i add bracket here i can see there is a, a screen tip available so i can understand oh, it is demanding for index number okay but when i add space here nothing appears here that means it will not work with this if you type bracket it work with this one only okay then in value if i type type space nothing comes here i type uh, bracket nothing comes here then what i will use equal to okay for member only so i can uh, identify that that's how it can be entered okay such as i want to give true here so i uh, i tried this one in uh, brackets i can also give this thing what is up, uh, appearing that you know save changes comma Sa file and uh, like that it is coming you know so what is the next continuation root workbook while closing we can save changes and the file name file name we can give it is optional these are things are optional here file name you can provide name you, suppose you haven't done this saving activity before so you can provide file name from here itself also mm -hmm. okay but it is not needed you just remember one thing we have to always give here true these are close it will save and close yes because uh, vba has lot of lot of huge code blocks so we don't need to memorize all of them by which way we can work uh, uh, that only we will memorize the procedure how to work with vba because rest of the thing we can get from recording macros okay so mm. th we don't need to uh, uh, memorize lot of code here this is the plus point with vba in other language you have to memorize and these all things so vba is so much wide so we need, don't need to memorize here here is uh, there is recording option available here so we got to know that how to add workbook 
how to save workbook how to close workbook with saving option now i tell you uh, i have told about you declaring variables because every time using this long code workbooks this thing sheet 1 and range 1 it is a difficult task it takes too much time so we can declare uh, we can take the reference of that workbook also such as active workbook dot name what i usually do i create a reference for that worksheet so i uh, type a keyword here dim uh, wb as work workbook okay so we can also use dim r as range so we can create shortcut for range also as r and wb as workbook but we need to activate them we have to assign values them so wb i provide here active workbook okay one time i have done that but only using this wb equal to will not work i need to specify set wb with this work when we assign any object here we use this set keyword okay hmm. then how to do the same code i can access them this workbook by this name wb dot save as okay save as i can give this thing here active workbook dot name i can give here wb dot name no matter in one go i am doing all the things then using wb dot sheets using we can create sheet object also then range then a1 so it makes the code easier one time we have assigned value because every time we are writing some code with reference to some sheet but suppose if we have to change the sheet and we have long code we need to change this every keyword lot many times instead of that i will change that uh, uh, that set keyword only one time okay so i can use its reference every time okay and all it will be changes then uh, i type wb dot close and true okay this thing will do the same okay we can see there is a book 9 also okay so creating reference is the better option for programming in vba programming can you just explain the the save as e colon mm. and you started with the what you called uh, uh, quotations and and ampersand wb name is there no so uh, yeah that is a concatenation operator i have told you in excel that is for concatenation it's yeah, adding something yeah yeah it's just like a string save as is a method okay in which we have to give the path full path where is to be saved mm. okay if you are not understanding that that uh, how to do all this thing 
just go to your excel in developer tab just record macro okay yeah yeah i i i i know i understood that one yeah control n uh, and i here choose save as in e drive i just save this thing then close okay then I stop recording now i just check it in module 2 workbook dot add chtir means change directory there is a code it's like command prompt some thing so it has changed directory as default directory okay we actually we don't need that okay then mm -hmm. active workbook dot save file name this one okay mm. save as type file format it is given like this mm. where you can see that underscore and the second line continued it is uh, the way for continuing the second line uh, you can have it here also in single line also mm -hmm. okay so create backup it is false we don't need all these things okay and if you don't give the file name it is also it is the inbuilt details mm -hmm. so this thing was done actually slowly slowly you will understand that how the code is similar because it is yeah. gi giving you the full codes and uh, with the usage you will know that uh, you can uh, decrease your co coding yeah okay so same thing i have done here so with recording options you can uh, get lot of things and if you are not finding just search on google for any particular thing you will find everything okay mm -hmm. so now let's uh, take another example it is for uh, just opening file and closing file now i just want to protect my workbook then what can we do as wb then protect okay we have a protect keyword and we can give password here also okay then we have unprotect protection and protection we can do by this way hmm. okay so these are some codes which we can use so let's suppose i just take of these things then in book 11 my workbook is now protected and i need to give password because i can't insert any sheet here so I need to unprotect with that password. Okay, so I have unprotected that. Now it is okay. Again, I protect it with same password. And let me unprotect through this code. Yes. I'm using active workbook and unprotection. I just run this code and you can see it is now unprotected. Okay. So protection and protection can be done by this way. If you want to uh, protect sheet, 
you can use any sheet wb dot sheets or you can give sheet name or you can give the index number dot mm. protect same method is also here one two three mm. each sheet also we can give one one uh, password like that yes 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 different passwords okay yes so I'm just protecting first sheet with one two three password I can see I it has no entry option uh, I need to unprotect that but is ask for password so I want to unprotect here so I can use unprotect keyword with sheet also mm. now you can see it is unprotected mm. okay sir with protection sheet protection you have asked one thing Excel no it was hide and hide so you can use WB sheets one dot hide here I will give Excel very hidden okay object doesn't support this property how we have done that hidden excel what okay it was visible not hidden very hidden now sheet one is uh, disappear here and I can't unhide this for unhiding I need to just give here true now I can see sheet one okay So these are some codes we which uh, which we generally use with our Excel workbook for doing uh, different different things. Mm -hmm. Then uh, let's take a task and do, do it. And suppose there is a sheet. I just close this sheet there is a sheet and I have some data here now, uh, now I want to do that the data which is greater than 50 should be highlighted with yellow the cell color should be highlighted with yellow okay like conditional formatting so how to design that macro sub a um, uh, call change like this I write a macro I have to work in B column so what I will do I will take just range keyword and give him first address B65 anything you can give here then dot end I will put end here then Excel up means it will go up from B65 uh, 65,000 it will go up and stop when the where the last data is then it will select it okay 
now in second range I will give selection and selection dot and excel up and excel up this one dot select okay why two times you put select selection see uh, second line uh, I just uh, run this one only so first it is just selected this one now in this range I need to include selection from this selection to this object so it will press like shift and uh, it will press like end mm. uh, just uh, shift end mode and then up it will do like this okay so I am doing the same here so first range will be selection and the second range will be this one up dot select mm. so it will do the same thing if you run the macro this macro it will do the same thing okay now I will use a loop here a special loop for selection we use is for each loop for each for that I need to specify one range object here dim r as a range I tell you why to use this for each r in selection I type here next R now what exactly uh, it is doing it has selected the selection in selection whichever cell has uh, whichever value it is transferring into R transferring into mm. R every time it will be transferred into R while this loop moves it will moves till uh, uh, all the ranges in selection suppose there are 20 values here so the loop will move 20 time for each R in selection ok sir one one cell will be transferred into that so what will we do uh, suppose uh, I just show you in the range object the cell we can change the color with interior dot color equal to I change this to VB red ok every color we refer it with the VB sign VB red VB blue VB yellow there are a lot of colors so let us just run the macro then we can see all the objects are now in red here ok sir mm. now I have a condition that only uh, those to be formatted who has the value greater than 50 so how I will I add with if statement if r dot value is greater than 50 then do this thing and end if ok now what would happen the loop will run this code but if the condition the value will be in R will be greater than 50 then this code will be executed otherwise nothing happen I just run this code and we can see the greater values are highlighted with red ok now what I want 
rest of the value i want to highlight it with green okay so what i will do here i will do as okay r dot interior if the condition is not true then it will follow this thing vb green okay and just play this you can see rest of the values are green mm -hmm. okay can we can we give like uh, if it is greater than 1 or less than 1 is equal is uh, uh, should be highlighted like that greater than 1 or less than 1 means yeah uh, uh, okay in this case we can say like uh, on the uh, the greater than 20 mm. is one color and the less than 20 is another color yes 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 so oh, we can give actually the condition here like this this is a logical condition that mm. if the value uh, actually VB language is like uh, a simple English language so mm. it does not confuse us if r dot value is greater than 50 then do this else do this this the end if okay so this is the code block in true case it will run this in false case it will run this i just add one more thing i want that into the adjunct cell it uh, should show the color name also okay which color is here it should be show mm. the name also here mm. so I just type here r dot offset for accessing the adjunct cell we can use offset option and mm. in row offset what we will do same thing because we don't have to change rows we are just using columns so one means the next column dot value should be equal to red or we can say here green okay now we just run the code and we can see the name is also there Mm. Okay, sir. Now you understand why we use this selection keyword. Yeah. Okay. So okay, selection. Okay. So we just uh, do a work with if, that. If we are using that if is equal to, uh, is equal to uh, normally in Excel we are using no is equal to a if yeah. uh, this is x is then uh, this one and else is this one. Yes, and in if, if function itself we are adding looping you know like uh, if this is happened mm -hmm. then again we will start with the function in internally yes 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 it is like <laughs> this it is the inside the code block for every time the loop runs this code executes okay then uh, let's do some work with it no, you didn't get my point, I think. What do you want to say? No, is equal to if, uh, 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 type is equal to, mm. if, if, uh, okay, um, B column is equal to, no. if, uh, select the B, B, B cell, yes, yeah, uh, is equal to, is equal 20, to 20, 20, 20, comma, Comma. Yeah. Uh, again, we will start with the if. If it is a tr again, we are using the if condition in, in, in within that. Why? No. We are not like is, uh, using if, this. If that is true, then. No, no, no. That no. Is, if that is true, if. Uh, See, but, we won't uh, use it here. What we are doing here, if we are uh, just this one is greater uh, than 50 
then we if in true we yeah, are using true. red yeah red yeah or otherwise green but in, yeah this is the simple formula you gave it but in, in in the practical scenario sometimes what we will do is in the the same formula we can add further some more formulas no yes yes such as multiple uh, formulas you, you understood yeah instead of in, yeah again we, we will give we, some something else yes we have given uh, red and green we can give single single values here but in programming we have flexibility we can execute lot of things with it Hmm. Suppose we have changed the color also, and uh, changed the value of next cell also, and we can uh, do so on things here. Okay, but here we need to uh, uh, do all these things by different different way because I will apply hmm. this condition into conditional formatting. Okay, but hmm. in programming it is very easy. Hmm. In programming, you uh, don't need to do lot of work in that. Okay, sir. Hmm. So let's do uh, something, uh, some more useful thing. Suppose I have some thing written in small case. I just want to change the case. Okay, change case. This option is not available in VBA. No, not available in Excel. If you want to do, you just uh, have to use a formula, then drag it, and then copy paste it. Okay. Now I want to do it within the selection. I just select, and it should change. So one thing I uh, tell you that if we can also assign our macros on buttons. So I add here two shapes. A type is upper, and another shape I type lower. I create. I will create two macros here. Mm. I just. Let me add some other module. So sub up for upper case. What I will do? Dim r as range. Then I am not selecting the object. I am get uh, taking as the user have selected something for each r in selection. Already it is selected. I don't know where. It, I am just saying that user should press uh, run this macro after selecting anything. Hmm. Okay. Then next R. Okay. Now hmm. what I will do? R dot value means that cell value hmm. should be replaced by there is a formula itself in Excel in VBA is U case. For converting value in upper case, so I will provide the value r dot value. So this formula will convert r dot value into upper case, then again supply into r dot value. Okay. Hmm. So I, I same as I just declare another variable upper lower lw and for lower case we have formula l case okay now up and nw i just right click assign macro up i assign it to this and assign macro lw i assign it to this button okay now i select this thing upper case Lower case, upper case, lower case. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can see there was no option like that, but we still we have created. Mm -hmm. Oh, one oh. error occurs. I have selected whole column here. 
now it is changing every cell to upper and lower about 40 lakhs cells more than 50 lakhs uh, press the escape button when you do such kind of thing okay sir hmm. okay upper lower so that's how we interact with our sheets with our uh, workbook and with our macros okay sir yeah tomorrow we will do more about more about conditions and this loop yeah. system okay sir okay sir